Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, good viewers all. My name is Alex. Uh, I am an actor from uh, the deepest, darkest wilds of England. This is a muse of fire, the vlog that revolves around creativity, how geeks create things, and ultimately how we express ourselves. What? Shut up, noob. All geeks express themselves somehow. It's what we do. What makes you any different? That guy's Russian. Don't ask me why. Well, Internet, before you cry ambiguity, hear me out here. I'm not only interested in the art forms that people create, the theatre, the TV, the films, the, the, the games, etc., and critiquing those forms, but also what inspires people to create things, and what emotions, art, in whatever form, can evoke in people. Like in Buffy, in that episode of season three, where uh, Faith pretends to be e no, Faith pretends to be evil? Faith is evil, what am I talking about? Where Angel pretends to be evil. To understand uh, what, uh, what Faith uh, knows and what she's doing with the mayor and so forth. And Faith says, while she's got Buffy chained up, what can I say? I'm the world's greatest actor. And then the shot goes to Angel, who's standing behind her, and he just says, second best. Oh my god, yes! Yes, Whedon! So much yes! I mean, like, that's not only a great twist from a writing perspective, you know, the form, as I was talking about earlier, but it just, oh my god, it invokes so many feels in me. The good guys have just owned the bad guys in the face, from behind. I don't know how they do that, but that's just how awesome they are. They can own them in the face without them even seeing it coming. So what is a muse of fire? Well, it comes from the beginning of Shakespeare's Henry V, where, hang on, costume. Oh, for a muse of fire, the Buddha. Oh, for a muse of fire, the Buddha send the brightest heaven of invention, a kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Here, Shakespeare is asking for divine inspiration, a muse of fire, inspiration from the heavens to make the events of his play as they really were and bring to reality the real life of Henry V and the Battle of Agincourt. And those muses, good viewer, are what I seek. I, there is, there is nothing I love more than immersing myself in a, in a whole different universe to our own, be it as a performer, as a reader, as a listener, as a watcher, as a gamer, what, whatever it may be, I love immersing myself in those different universes and the and the thoughts that they that they bring uh, to my mind and and just what they inspire in me, really. So let me know in the comments below, my friends, what is it that ignites your muses? What makes you create things? I don't care how creative you think you are, you know, how bad drama or singing or art or whatever you think you are. Doesn't matter, because let me tell you right now, good viewer, you are creative. Everybody is. You don't have to be a Shakespeare or a De Niro to be creative. Every time you tell a joke to your mates in the pub, you're being creative. Every time you name your characters in your XCOM squad and give them all backstories and relationships that perhaps no one else knows about, you're being creative. Every time you indulge that tangential thought about, hmm, what if Spider-Man was a zombie? You're being creative. So let me know, my friends. Please do let me know, because I would love to hear from you. What is it that makes you create things? However small they may be, however stupid you might think they are, what is it that makes your muses alight? That sets your muses alight. You know what I mean. And, of course, my friends, please do like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff uh, to all of the Geek and Sundry vloggers and Geek and Sundry themselves, of course, because they... They are brilliant, quite frankly, good viewer. I love what they're doing for the geek community, I really do. I hope they continue doing that, regardless of if I'm helping them to do it or not. I really hope that they continue to do that. So please, good viewer, do like and comment and subscribe and all that good stuff, because it really does help them out a lot, perhaps, you know, disproportionately to what you actually do. Because at the end of the day, you're just spending, what, half a calorie to move your mouse and click it to press the like button? So ask yourself, good viewer. Can you afford to lose half a calorie? I know I can. That's attractive. So, my friends, until the next time that you see a crazy actor dressed in a dressing gown that makes him look like some sort of Grim Reaper, Nazgul, Dementor hybrid, I will bid you farewell. Parting is such sweet sorrow, my friends. And farewell until we meet again.